In the AI game, Google is not ready to throw in the towel just yet. In fact, their POM2 language model will change the playing field. So much so that Google just might beat everyone and come out on top. POM2 is faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. That's what we used to say about Superman in the 1940s. Now, POM2 is a super AI and is here to change the game. Google is calling POM2 their next generation large language model. What makes it different from the rest of the class is that it's smart and can use logic and reasoning. Remember that annoying kid who had their hand up for every question the teacher asked? POM2 is here to challenge them. Just like that kid in the classroom, POM2 was trained using math and scientific data. Go ahead and ask a question that requires advanced reasoning, and you'll be surprised by the speed and precision of its answer. You can play with this AI by asking it riddles and logical questions or even confuse it by asking paradoxical questions like, which came first, the chicken or the egg? If you're into all things AI, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop and never miss out on the latest mind-blowing advancements in the world of artificial intelligence. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so you're always the first to know. Believe it or not, POM2 is a strong contender against GPT-4. Sure, GPT-4 has a trillion parameters, and no one really knows how many POM2 has. But because of the way it's built, POM2 can be used for a variety of applications. The submodel system POM2 uses is pretty clever. These models are called Unicorn, Bison, Otter, and Gecko in descending order. Gecko is the smallest one in the POM2 family. It's designed to work on mobile devices and can even function offline, similar to how you can pre-plan a path on Google Maps for when you're out of service range. It's pretty handy, right? Now, the other models in the lineup are more geared towards handling complex tasks. But here's the interesting part. The largest model in POM2 is actually significantly smaller than its counterpart in the previous version, POM. However, it does use more training compute. What does that mean? Well, it basically tells us that even though POM2 has fewer parameters and a smaller size compared to its competitors, the developers have carefully selected and curated the training data, resulting in a major boost to the performance of the language model. In other words, they've managed to make it smarter and more efficient without sacrificing quality. One of the biggest breakthroughs is that POM2 can understand 100 spoken languages and 20 programming languages. Google is not shying away from using it on BARD, Google Workspace, and other Google products to enhance their user experience. You might have already used a POM2 product without realizing it, or you'll be using it in the near future. If you struggle with coding assignments or understand difficult code snippets, POM2 will be your best friend. Not only can it write code for you, but because of its powerful model and training, it can translate code lines from one language to another on the fly. So if you found a solution in Python, but want it to be written in R, all you have to do is ask. Since POM2 speaks 100 languages, you can work with colleagues from different nationalities, still speak the same language, and get work done faster than before. This kind of advancement is only available in POM2 at the moment, so it's smart enough to understand if you've added or removed parts of code and translate that change into your coworkers' language. Other models may be good at figurative language, meaning you can ask a direct question and it will churn out a direct answer. POM2, on the other hand, can understand idioms, metaphors, and figures of speech and give you a smarter answer. Let's take a quick look under the hood and understand what makes POM2 tick. Google has been at the forefront of AI for a good part of the last decade. They've been developing their transformer architectures to be better. They've also been researching and producing their own chips, the tensor processing units, and multiple open source frameworks. These developments have been the backbone of techs like POM2 and BARD. The magic word behind this new large language model is compute optimal scaling. They are increasing the size of the compute as the size of the dataset grows. This allows smaller language models like POM2 to outperform bigger language models. They've also made it less stressful for the servers to keep their carbon footprint small and reduce the impact on the environment. The genius of POM2 continues beyond advanced logical reasoning. It's also more ethical and socially conscious than its competitors. While there have been stories about chatbots and AIs giving ethically and morally questionable answers and prompts, POM2 actively tries to avoid these kinds of topics by steering the conversation back in a positive direction. So many industries and sectors can use POM2 as an everyday tool to speed up processes and provide a better service to the public. 
Google assumes that the health sector and cybersecurity industry can benefit the most from this ingenious AI they've developed. Since it speaks mainly in science and math, predicting diseases, finding new medications, and locking our private data are just a few things Palm 2 can do. All this is made possible by fine-tuning the Palm Large Language Model, which was created to understand medical data. Fine-tuning is just what it sounds like. It focuses the model on understanding specific issues and providing solutions. That's where we get into MedPalm 2. Google fed medical knowledge into Palm 2 and fine-tuned it into a MedPalm 2. And it was a success. It has outperformed previous LLM medical exam results and reached expert performance. It's so smart that it can look at a scan or an x-ray and tell you what exactly is wrong and what you can do about it. Google didn't take MedPalm's word just because it passed the medical exam. Instead, they created sessions with actual doctors and clinicians to rate the answers given by MedPalm. And in the majority of the situations, MedPalm was able to provide the correct answer. It's estimated that there are around 250,000 deaths annually due to medical misdiagnosis. So this crazy accuracy will revolutionize healthcare and can save hundreds of thousands of lives each year by helping to prevent misdiagnosis and reduce the disease burden on healthcare systems around the world. But don't think for a minute that MedPalm can replace your current healthcare provider 100%. As always, this AI is just a tool that speeds up and removes errors of human judgment. So it's only here to aid your doctor and provide you with the best care you deserve. Let's put it this way so you can understand the situation better. Let's say you have two choices when it comes to doctors. The first doctor sees about 100 patients daily, and the other can see 100,000 patients daily. Which one will you pick as your doctor? Who would have more experience and can provide you with a better solution? While it can take a few years to reach perfection and be safe for the public to use, we are so close to providing quality healthcare to everyone on the planet at an affordable price. We just need to keep feeding it really good data that we can find. MedPalm is capable of digesting massive chunks of data instantly and making sense of it. This ability is what sets human doctors apart from MedPalm. Its accuracy is growing and it won't slow down for anything. But it will be a while before AI can replace a surgeon, replace a nurse's warm care and bedside manner. These roles will exist even if AI takes over 100%. So if you are in med school, don't throw your expensive textbooks out just yet. Instead, ask questions from AI and get better and better each day. These models are already doing some pretty amazing things, but guess what? They're about to level up even more. As we step into the realm of multimodal models, get ready for some mind-blowing capabilities. We're talking about models that can handle not just text and code, but also dive into the realms of video, audio, and images. It's like they're becoming these all around superstars. With the right kind of fine tuning and feeding the right kind of data sets in various fields, Palm 2 can create powerful models to answer life's toughest questions. It can even serve us in our interplanetary daydreams we humans have had for years. Hopefully it won't turn on us like HAL 9000 and lock the doors on us. Hey, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.